What's up everyone, it's Karthik with MoneyVest. So this is gonna be a video on Tesla. So I'm actually back in India right now for the next two weeks. I'm visiting my family and my nephew and uh, gonna be visiting some friends, taking a little bit of a break. But of course, uh, October is gonna be a very, very important month because not only is Tesla got three events that are coming up with delivery numbers speculated to be released tomorrow, Wednesday, October uh, 2nd, but we also have, of course, the earnings season getting started. So Tesla is going to be reporting on August 16th and the very important robot taxi event coming up on October 10th. Uh, not to mention, of course, a lot of other economic data points, including the unemployment numbers coming out later this week on Friday. So we got lots to discuss. Hope you all are doing great. This video is going to be dedicated to Tesla, which I've got lots to break down with regards to another really big order coming in of close to a million dollars worth of calls that are way out of the money. We're looking at over $560 strikes, as well as how the markets are positioned for Tesla in terms of those options contracts going into Friday. So later this week, as well as next week, because next week is when we have the RoboTaxi event, uh, 10, 10, right? So I'm going to go over both of the options chains uh, expiring October 4th, as well as October 11th. And of course, we're going to talk a little bit about Tesla's technical analysis as well. I am positioned long for this week as well. Last week, we had a nice buy ride pocketed just over $650 um, in net gains. And this week, again, I am positioned long with a buy right on a Tesla. So she bought the shares and then sold the calls against those shares. If you want to get access to all the alerts, find out exactly what I'm trading, get access to the options portfolio. Everything is going to be included with the link down below. And I'd love to have you on board and Tesla pre-market just over 40 basis points higher, trading just over $262 per share. So first things first, let's go over to some of the big orders here. So this is close to a million dollars worth of value. So as you can see that this right here, if you add it all up, it's going to come out to just over a million dollars. And this was all uh, getting hit at the ask. So basically, if you come over to the details, we're looking at just hitting the ask here. This is actually very good analysis uh, done by Pedro on X. And also the timing of these trades were coming in at just slightly be before market close. We're looking at just a little bit before 4 p.m. Eastern with strikes sitting at $560 per share. So these are not you know, for the next uh, day or for the next week or for the next few months. This is actually expiring in 2025. We're talking June 2025 with way out of the money calls that this trader or this party, this entity, whoever was behind this trade essentially picked up a lot of out of the money calls expiring in 2025 in June for $560 strike and again, spent close to a million dollars buying these calls. So this again does go to show that there is momentum, there is bullish sentiment overall with Tesla over the long term because we have already witnessed quite a lot of traders unusual option activity on Tesla as people are buying 400, 450, 500, and now as much as 560 calls, uh, which is again, way out of the money going into 2025 and 2026. Now, how are we positioned based on the options chain going into this Friday and next week? Because Tesla is going to be reporting their delivery numbers uh, later this week. So Wednesday, October 2nd. And if you come over to some of the expectations, so Tesla's massive October starts this week with third quarter uh, deliveries. Analyst consensus right now is pegged at 462,000. That's going to be up 6% year over year. So if I plug this number at 462,000 here, that's going to be just over 6% increase on a year over year basis and a little bit over 4% increase on a quarter over quarter basis. And Troy Teslike, whose delivery estimates on X have been very accurate and highly respected among Tesla retail investors. Uh, he expects uh, basically 472,000. So that's going to be a pretty wild number. It's going to be way above analyst consensus expectations and also the highest number on street, which actually came out from Bard. Uh, they were expecting 470,000 from Tesla, right? So if I plug in 472,000 instead, we're looking at a growth rate over year over year of well over 8% and just over 6% quarter over quarter. Uh, Wedbush Security, Dan Ives. Daniel Ives also been covering Tesla for a very long time. He's a long time Tesla bull. Wrote Friday that he expects Q3 deliveries to come in above expectations and with a whisper number sitting 465 and $470,000. And he says, and I quote, we believe the third quarter will provide a solid rebound 
looking into the second half for the company as China continues to heat up and price demand stabilization has continuously been seen throughout the quarter. And we believe this quarter is a major step in the right direction for the Tesla story as well. Looking ahead, he's confident that Tesla is going to be able to hit 1.8 million deliveries for 2024. So if we come in at 472, we're going to be at just over 1.3 million for the year, which is still going to be down about almost 2% from same time last year. So Tesla would need to hit over half a million vehicles in the fourth quarter to get up to over 1.8 million for the entire year 2024, which again is going to be quite a challenge. But the good thing is that we are going into this quarter with rates coming down and expected to come down further. Uh, you know, EV credits, Tesla's continue to provide zero cost, 0%, uh, you know, interest free sort of payment plans and, and opportunities to purchase more vehicles, as well as the Cybertruck rollout. And, and again, there's a lot of tailwinds for Tesla as rates come down and there's a lot of uh, production and capacities also increasing. So there is a possibility that we do hit that half a million mark and get up to over 1.8 million vehicles for 2024. Now, Wells Fargo also added Tesla in their tactical ideas list. However, it's not what you would assume. It is actually an underweight rating with a price target of $120 a share in anticipation of its high, uh, anticipation is high for the RoboTaxi event. Wells Fargo remains skeptical. The firm continues to see delivery growth declining and diminishing return on price cuts, driving a 400 basis points year over year decline in 2024 auto gross margins, excluding credit. So that again is a little bit of a hit piece on Tesla coming in bright and early, literally just came out about a couple hours ago. Uh, and Tesla's AI expansion, a buy rating on the cusp of general AI and synergistic growth as well. So a few other analysts also coming in. I think Adam Jonas raising price target and also putting a buy rating because of the software and the artificial intelligence that Tesla has to offer. So Tesla is going to be on the news pretty much the entire week going into next week because of the big events that are coming up. And this right here is how the markets are positioned. Once again, this is going to be the options chain for this Friday. So this Friday is expiration. We're talking October 4th. And this right here is going to be for expirations for next week. So we're talking October 11th. And I really wanted to point out to some of the bigger contracts. So for example, the $230 strike puts almost 12,300 open interest. Uh, that's the volume actually 10,000 open interest. We got 13,000 open interest and we got 10,000 open interest. So some of the levels to keep in mind for out of the money puts for this Friday, 250, 240 and 230. So in the $10 increments, that's where majority of the contracts are sitting. However, we are still biased on the bullish side as per the options chain, because take a look at this 12,000 contracts, open interest, 29,000 contracts, 32,000 contracts, 18,000 and 21,000. You add it all up and we're looking at out of the money call options for this Friday's expiration at 182,000, almost 183,000 contracts that are set to expire this Friday for Tesla that are still out of the money versus puts are half of that. It's only 93,000 and that comes out to a put call ratio of 0.51, meaning there's more call options open right now on Tesla that are out of the money than there are put options out of the money that are open for Tesla. There definitely seems to be a very net bias to the upside that Tesla is going to be able to achieve at least 265 or 270 or 277, 50, 280 and 300. Those right there are going to be the levels where most of those calls are opened at. Now going into next week, things do get in better balance. And one more thing I wanted to point out is that since Tesla is going to be reporting their delivery numbers on Wednesday, October 2nd, if you take a look at the deltas for plus minus 10% move in the in the Tesla stock, uh, minus 10% is going to put us down to 234 plus 10% is going to put us up to 286 and take a look at their deltas, right? So the probability for us to see a negative 10% move in Tesla stock is lower than the probability for us to see a positive 10% move in Tesla stock, meaning 13.5% probability that Tesla's 286 call expires in the money versus only a 6.5% probability that Tesla's 234 put expires in the money. So almost twice as much probability for Tesla to have a higher 10% move than a 10% downside move uh, going into Friday, right? So Friday, by Friday, that's where the expectations are pegged at. Now going into next week, you get a very similar picture. There is still a net bullish bias because there's still a lot of contracts, especially this right here is insane. 27,000 contracts here. And the one that I wanted to highlight here is 32,000 contracts at 277.50. So those right there are just absolute monster open interest here. 
for Tesla. And then another one is 29,000. So that's a 270. I think 270 we discussed in our last Tesla video as well is going to be a level that Tesla could easily get up to given how much optimism there is for Tesla to get up to that level. So that, that's where the resistance is. That's where the area of supply is. That's where a lot of the open interest also sits at. And going into next week, once again, 270, we got 27,000 contracts. Uh, that's the highest one. And then 12,500 is for 300. All, to, all the way to $300 is where it is. And again, if you break things down a little bit better, uh, you've got total puts, 43,000. Total calls, 192,000. That's a put call ratio of 0.22. Uh, the ones that are out of the money, you've got 36,000 to 81,000. So more calls versus puts uh, by more than twice. And then negative 10 to positive 10%. We've got a 20% move, 20% probability that Tesla can drop 10%, and then a 30% probability that Tesla is going to increase 10% to $286. So a little bit more better balance here uh, between going into next week. Still positioned to the long side. Most investors, most traders are given the open interest for the calls that are currently open for 270s and 280s, all the way up to $300 for Tesla. So going into the technical analysis now, uh, Tesla is just trading under $263 a share. And uh, as we have already discussed, it's coming up to a huge wall of supply. It's coming up to a huge area of supply right now. As you can see that we have identified this right here inside this red rectangle, which is going to be a very, very important level of resistance and supply to watch for Tesla. In my opinion, I think 270 is possible, uh, you know, either by Friday this week or next week, either before or after the RoboTaxi event, just depending on how uh, you know Tesla essentially reports those numbers and, and comes out with that RoboTaxi event. But I do believe a 270 print is possible for Tesla. That's gonna be coming up to the same level from back in July of 2024. So that's gonna be $270. And are we going to see $300? I think that might be a bit of a stretch considering how much we've already rallied. I think it's up over 40% from its $180 lows. So this right here, uh, was when Tesla was trading at 180 bucks, right around that carry in trade blow up. Uh, you know, volatility spiked over 65. Tesla was at 180 bucks, and since then it has rallied over 43%. So, yes, it's getting a bit overstretched on the RSI 68. MACD is also moving higher. So, wouldn't be, would not be surprised to, to kind of touch or just kind of flirt with that $270 level before starting to roll over and showing us some weakness and 250 is going to be that support level. So in case we do see any type of a weakness or Tesla stock taking a bit of a breather, 250 is going to be that level to also keep in mind. But Tesla right now, most certainly uh, starting to give us those early signs of a potential breakout. And the next really important levels are going to be inside this red rectangle. If you can take out 270, 280 and $300, then in my opinion, I think all time highs are going to be well within reach and it's going to be possible sooner rather than later, considering that we're going to be able to absorb all that supply that's been holding us down for over two years uh, for Tesla. So it hasn't really traded above $300 since um, August of 2022. So it's been well over two years that Tesla has really um, had difficulty kind of trading above 300 bucks because there's been so much supply sitting at those levels and we've just been getting rejected for Tesla stock. So 270 is the level that I'm watching for this week. Going into next week, $300 is possible, but again, depends very much on uh, you know, the robo taxi event and the overall sentiment and how the markets also do, because, you know, the markets are pushing higher. There's going to be that optimism around Tesla stock as well. But if the markets are starting to roll over, if you get a volatility spike, uh, then of course, you know, Tesla alone cannot keep pushing higher. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, of course, Tesla kind of follows with the market and starts to roll over despite the company specific events that are coming up. So hope you all enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Uh, let me know what you are expecting from Tesla going into this Friday and next Friday as well. Uh, but I've already mentioned that I think the markets are very, very clear in their positioning and how they are viewing a Tesla stock going into next couple of weeks here. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Links to our Discord Patreon is going to be down below. Happy investing. I'll see you all in the next video.